In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to record and work with actions. So hi guys, welcome back to another new design tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how I work with actions. Now especially as you guys can see we already have some guides here. Normally when I start out with the design tutorials I always create a center point here with my guide. So normally I go up to view, just hit here new guide and also enter here 50% say OK and directly I get a guide here in the center. I do that with the vertical and horizontally and we get a po focus point here in the center. But doing that every day is kind of getting, uh, it's actually a waste of my time and it's also taking more of my workflow time. So what I decided to do is build an action so I can just always hit the action and that will directly create this line for me. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this and yeah, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to go to window here and first of all open the action palette because it's not here on the right hand side. So I'm just going to open actions. As you guys can see, I've got actions here. I can literally just drag it all the way over here into a palette. Great. Now what I want to do is just over here, also first of all, record an action and create one from scratch. So what I'm going to do is just down here, create a new group. And in here, I can set the new group to, say for instance, my simple actions. So I'm going to just rename it to simple actions. You guys can rename it to anything you want to. I'm going to hit OK and in simple actions I'm going to do simple small design actions. So it would have been actually better if I renamed this to design actions. Alright, but anyways, now let's start with our first action. So simply just go down here to the new action icon, select that and you can now enter your name. Now what I want to do is maybe name this 50% guides. So I know, okay, these are always the 50% guides that go into the center. As well set here to just the simple action. If you want to, you can also put a function key to that and also, um, yeah, let's just give it like a red color. Okay, so once I hit record, it's not like an actual recording where it starts recording after time. It only records whatever you are clicking or whatever you're doing. So don't think that you have to rush through this now. Okay, so I'm ready to hit record now. And as you guys can see here on the right hand side, we have now a little button here, which means it's red, it's glowing, it's recording. And over here, we everything that we do in Photoshop now will be physically recorded under 50% guides. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first of all go to view over here, go all the way to new guide and select and build the first new guide. So again, select all 50% and also right here 50%. Hit OK and have a look here, it will be recorded now. OK, and directly you guys can see there we've made that first uh, mark. So again, I'm going to go to view and again new guide and again I'm going to select vertical now and select all. Remove that, just right here, 50% and hit OK. Have a look. Boom. There we get our new action here as well, or basically our command. Yeah, and now we have both of these commands ready. That's all that I wanted. Now I'm done. I can simply hit here on stop. And that basically means now I'm done with the recording and I'm done um, with setting that first action. So I can just minimize this folder again and under simple actions now I have this option. So let's just go in here and say view guides. I'm just going to clear everything so it's out of our way. Now what we're going to do if we Photoshop and we want to create a new design, we can simply just go over to actions and always hit this little play button here. So once you play that, basically over here, sorry, you select the action and then you hit the play button over here. You select that and boom, directly you get your guides. You don't need to go in and view and do it over and over. So you again save some time here on your workflow options. Yeah, so this is just a quick tip showing you guys how to work and how to record actions. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like these tutorials. And yeah, see you in some of our other design tutorials. Thanks guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>